we want to get to a point where when people arrive here that they see the water gardens and think, wow, actually this is something really special. The water gardens were extremely pretty. When we came here and saw the green, we were just fascinated by it all and uh, want to be a part of it. It was a community space. We used to drive past here when I was very little and it was fantastic then. People used to come in from all the villages. We used to come down here for picnics and the gardens used to look beautiful. And it was a day out down here. Lovely photos in the autumn with the leaves and um, the kids. Children love rivers and water. All seemed a bit uh, adventurous with the river coming through the town centre like this and uh, all the walkways. On a summer's day, it would be very nice to come down and have a look. You know, just sit there and watch the world go by. It just looked new and shining and somewhere you wanted to be. championing the bid to the Heritage Lottery Fund to reinvigorate and revitalise the Jellicoe Gardens that we have running through Hemel Hempstead. Jellicoe Water Gardens is one of the seven zones in the town centre. The River Gave running through it and the lake which has a fountain at the bottom. So the council is going to put in a Heritage Lottery Fund bid to restore the water gardens. It's not um, so much to be radical with the water gardens, but to bring back the place that people want them to be, to restore the water gardens to what they should be, which is both a very beautiful environmental area, but also a key area of particular interest as the town centre. This town has one of the best mid 20th century gardens in Europe. Jellico translated it into this to give them a living, breathing serpent of a garden that he felt they could respond to. He wanted to be able to provide somewhere peaceful for them. He considered this to be one of the best examples of his work and he believed that, that a little bit of experience of garden would actually lift people's spirits on their way to the shops and on the way back. And that, that opportunity is still there. It just looks tired. They need to appeal to younger generations. There's no playground in this area. It's more of a three-way now. They could do with a good old cleaner. There aren't really the facilities um, or seating for young families to take children. They're not very accessible for people with mobility issues, such as my mother. You see, the state of the bridges now looks dreadful. The built structures are also just on the edge of being rescuable. We used to have roses here and flowers and the bloom used to be lovely. It's just such a beautiful idea and it was so beautifully executed and it's such a tragedy. The whole nature of town centres is changing. The internet has changed it. It's not going to go away. But town centres need to become more of a leisure destination. Particularly like to see is uh, for this whole area to be a spe shared space where people can actively participate and, and use this space. I think you'll get families come back here on a Sunday afternoon, they can have picnics, the children can enjoy. People like being by water and I think one of the big areas we could do is provide a more of a street cafe culture. I know there's a few just kind of big spots, maybe one dedicated to being open and used for events. A place where we can just relax, say, after a long day of school, yeah. just go to the water gardens. It would be money well spent if we have all of the improvements that we're looking for. We're hoping that that will include landscaping improvements and general surface treatments along Waterhouse Street. Possibly a new play area, kiosks, a new terrace, and direct links into Bank Court just to have a bit of natural beauty here with a bit of water. To have a, a, a Friends of Water Garden um, building in there. The gardens will actually provide the most fantastic focus along Waterhouse Street. So instead of Waterhouse Street being the sort of back end of shops, you could actually look into the water garden. They have a cafe, they should like 
move the park close to there, so the parents yeah. can like, have a coffee and the, like, the children can go off and play. Could you imagine how nice it would be? When people are in the area, they can just like, take a break, and if there's Wi-Fi, then they can use the internet and stuff, and I think that like attracts people our own. We just want a nice place to remember like, as a child and as a teenage years, that mm. we have a place that we used to go. Keep the waterfront exciting. It is a wonderful opportunity for people to come together as a community. It would be a good be idea, idea if they got older people or people are part of the community to get together and do something and help out. They take pleasure in doing it, knowing it's for the community. Gardens are so important to people, especially today when a lot of people are living in areas where they don't have room to have their own plants and stuff. Whereas, um, you know, they can come here. Schools got involved, it bring together the school communities. There could be a, a friends group that would take children around and explain the history of the gardens. Elderly can be teaching the young. A lot of people our age would really want um, to be involved with all the projects and schemes. We want to involve all of those user groups all those people that are interested parties in securing the long-term future of the garden. It would be so exciting to see the gardens, the whole garden, used in the way that Jellicoe intended. We're building a future for young people within Hemel Hempstead and the Jellicoe Gardens and the wider redevelopment of Hemel Hempstead is fundamental to that. What he intended was right and is actually still very relevant today. We've got the natural assets, they just need the investment and it will really help this town flourish. Future generations will be able to look back and say, well, at the time of austerity, they did look to the future rather than look back.